You might remember me from the video with my husband when we sang the song against the water charge as well. We felt very left out. We've been watching people burning their bills and uh, we hadn't received ours yet. But guess what? Today, in the door, finally we got ours. Feel so proud. And uh, I'm not covering my name. I'm not covering my address either. Right? My name is Suzanne O'Keefe Smith and I live in Neilstown. Okay? And the reason I'm not going to do it is because the people that are actually going to jail because of this and they're not afraid to hide their faces and they're not hiding their names and they're not doing, going against it. So I just want to give you a bit of information about it. The Act was passed in 1997. What this Act done was increase VAT charges on every purchase that you ever make, any transaction that you ever do by 2%. Okay? Another uh, charge that was also increased was the road tax charge and that was increased by 5%. Now, a simple little equation for those of you that think that you don't pay taxes, people on social welfare and, and that a lot of people think, well, I don't contribute to society, but that's wrong. Right? And this charge is not about being rich or poor, okay? This is against all of us, this charge. Back in 1997, the VAT was 21%, okay? So basically what that means, if you spent 100 euro, 21% of that was collected by the government. That goes towards infrastructure of our society, okay? This was increased to 23% in 1997. This extra 2% increase was so that it would go towards our water and our water infrastructure. Now, this act, let me just show it here, 1997, okay? So I can't even quantify how much money that they have collected since 1997. That's nearly, what, 18 years? 18 years of these collections of these charges. Now, our most hated minister at the moment, well, next to Joan Bruton, of course, Minister Alan Kelly, the Minister for Environment. This guy popped up out of nowhere, okay? Now, why he's so important is his brother, CEO Declan Kelly of this organisation that I can't really pronounce, it's probably called Tenio, consulted on setting up this much hated Irish water charge. Okay? 85 million euros spent in consultancy fees and his brother got a chunk of it. So the government is frightening people, scaring people, telling them they're going to take it out of your social welfare, take it out of your wages, uh, take it to court. They can't take us all to court. So what I say to you is, not everybody is online, not everybody is on Facebook, not everybody is on social media. You need to go out and inform your neighbours, inform the people that you know around you that this charge is an unlawful charge. We already pay, right? They're trying to make out that the, with Minister Noonan coming out lately and saying that people are allergic to work. What a disgrace, what a shambles he is. There's people committing suicide all over this country. With the highest rate of suicide in this country. Now another charge is coming in. People that are on social welfare are already squeezed to the absolute limits. They've got the, an example would be the bin charges. We were told that the bin charges wouldn't go back up. They went up threefold, right? Now we also have to pay a yearly uh, administration fee. For what? I have no idea. This is what will happen with Irish water. Many people say, sure, it's only 64 euro. It's only 64 euro now. Wait until it's sold off to a company then we have no control over. Then you have our shell where we have oil, our oil, our natural resources being sold. Go have a look at the video on YouTube about Norway and what how their country made sure that their natural resources and every bit of profit that came from it came back into their country. They got free education and I'm not talking about Irish free education. I'm talking about actual free education, free third level education, places in preschools for children. Okay, an excellent healthcare system. We now have our Minister for Health, Leo Radcar, telling us that we should sign up to a private health company. Our Minister for Health, our health is telling us to sign up instead of providing us with an excellent healthcare system, a national healthcare system. People are still sitting on trolleys. This is not just about Irish water. And one last point I'd like to make. If you're not registered to vote, it is your responsibility to go out and get yourself registered to vote. You think that you may go out once every few years, go and tick your little box, and they're in Parliament or they're in the doll, and you go and you sit back for the next few years and watch as your country crumbles. We as voters need to hold people that we employ accountable for every little promise that they make to us that they break. So what I want to say to people is, I'm going to be going out, I'm going to be burning this, I don't want to burn it indoors for fire and health safety reasons, but I'll be going out and I'm going to nominate anybody that knows me to go out and do the same. Mass non-payment is going to sink this company up with the Irish people. 